And we have motion. You see Dragon physically separating from the International Space Station, 1.32 a.m. Central Time, the International Space Station, 253 statue miles over Sedan. Houston, the station is supposed to be on to the ISS thruster is enabled. Copy. Again, as Gary said, that physical separation, that undocking coming at 11.32 p.m. here, Pacific. Station Houston N2, Dragon departure burn zero, complete. And David St. Jacques reporting, everything looking good so far. You heard him say the corridors, so they, on their overlays that they have, uh, on their laptops on board the station where they're actually monitoring Dragon. They're looking for any perturbations outside of the expected path. And so we're continuing to get really great views. Dragon backdrop by the inky blackness of space. You'll see the, the cameras are a little bit jerky in their, in their motions. They're actually being controlled by somebody on the ground in mission control. And so this is a view from that WB-57 airplane. You were looking at Dragon streaking across the sky on its re-entry through the Earth's atmosphere, aiming for a splashdown in just a little while from now. It'll reach its terminal velocity, basically, uh, and then those parachutes are going to kick in. So there you have visual confirmation of the deployment of our drogue parachutes. This is the first of two. You can hear cheering here at SpaceX headquarters as the employees that have gathered around our mission control center are sharing the same view as you. Uh, what a gorgeous shot of Dragon coming back down. down to the Atlantic Ocean. And just passing 300 meters, continuing to descend. We might be right on time. We were planning on splashing down at about 5.45 a.m. Pacific, and we're getting real close to that bingo time. Just past 200 meters. of splashdown. Dragon has returned to planet Earth. It is now back home. And you can see on your screen our two fast boats racing out to the capsule, now in recovery. 